10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. State one propulsion is nominal. All right, T plus 32 seconds, and our 35th electron mission is off the pad and on its way to orbit. The next mission milestone will be max Q, when electron experiences the most amount of mechanical stress as it heads skyward at the intersection of vehicle speed rising and air density dropping. Electron is supersonic. Approaching max Q. Past max Q. There it is from Mission Control. Electron has cleared Max Q and is now throttling back up to full noise as it continues onto space. We are currently travelling at a speed of 2,400 kilometres per hour and at an altitude of 22 kilometres as we approach the next mission milestones. Three in quick succession this time. First, the nine 3D printed Rutherford engines will throttle down before shutting off completely. This is known as main engine cutoff, or MECO for short. Then we'll have separation of the first and second stages, followed quickly by ignition of the single vacuum optimised Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage to carry us the rest of the way to orbit. When Electron's booster is on its way home to Earth, we will try and stick with the Stage 1 live camera feed for as long as we can so we can watch Electron's ocean recovery attempt unfold. But for now, it is back to mission control for those next three launch milestones. Entered Bruno to deck mode. Miko confirmed. Stage two ignition successful. Stage two guidance nominal. Right on cue there with Miko stage, stage separation and ignition of the stage two Rutherford engine. Next on the checklist is separating the rocket's fairing and jettisoning the nose cone that protects the payloads during flight. This middle of the night launch means it might be too dark to see the separation event on our screen, but keep an eye out anyway as we listen into mission control for the call out. HVB battery discharge is nominal. Varying jettison succeeded. And there's Stage the confirmation we were waiting for. Electron's fairing has successfully been deployed. Stage 2 is continuing well with its payloads to orbit. The vehicle is currently reaching speeds of more than 8,500 kilometres per hour at an altitude of 135 kilometres.
Stage two propulsion holding nominal. All right, at over 11,000 kilometers an hour and more than 180 kilometers in the air, this first launch from LC-1 this year is going fantastic so far. After two back-to-back -back launches from LC-2, that started 2023 for Electron. That second LC-2 mission actually flew just last week, so launching today marks the fastest we have ever turned around two missions. Our previous record was 15 days in 2022 between Capstone and a mission for the NRO. Back to the beak that goes on though, and as I said, all looks nominal. You can see there that stage two Rutherford engine is burning bright to orbit. Stage two guidance nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HVB battery discharge nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. So with Electron's second stage now at Cash over 194 kilometres in the air, the vehicle will be coming up on its next event, the action of swapping the batteries that keep the second stage's Rutherford engine going. As our 3D printed engines are powered by batteries, by this point in the launch sequence, those batteries are getting low on energy. And as you might have caught on your screen there, they have since dropped off because our engine has switched to the other set on board to keep it going. That's why we call it the battery hot swap. Electron Stage 2 continues on its way to orbit at an altitude of 198 kilometres and a velocity of 117,000, I should say, kilometres per hour. You saw it there for a brief second, but it looks like we have actually lost the video connection to Electron's booster coming back to Earth there. That's not to be unexpected, so don't panic. It's when the stage moves out of range to receive the live camera, to camera telemetry. We are still expecting the first stage's main parachute to deploy shortly at about eight minutes into the mission. And we'll continue to listen into mission control to hear whether that's gone ahead. Stage two performance holding nominal. Main parachute deployed on recovery. Side we have just zero. heard from mission control that we have just heard from mission control there that the main shoot was successful. The electron is now powering its way it's down to 158 meters per second ahead of the stage landing in the ocean. So with a velocity of 26,000 kilometres an hour and an altitude of over 191 kilometres, the final mission milestone for the second stage will be SECO, or second engine cutoff. And that is when the Rutherford engine throttles down before shutting off just ahead of Electron's third stage, what we call the kick stage, separating and carrying on with the mission with Black Sky's payload. And as you just saw there on the screen, we have had that successful shutdown of that second stage. So it's now onward for our third stage to deploy those satellites to orbit. <laughs> 